Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's G here. Um, I thought I would do a quick series about um, stories from my life, stories from travel, dating, and things that, you know, you might find interesting. I didn't lead a traditional life, and I just want women to know, like, you don't have to do what is expected from you in society to um, turn out all right. Guys, subscribe to my channel, and I'm about to tell a quick story about what really happened with the French guy. Okay, so I made a video about the last black guy I dated, and uh, which led me to meeting this French guy. And guys, let me tell you, the red flags were probably being thrown at me left and right during this whole um, debacle of a relationship. The first one was he didn't drink. And that might not be a red flag for some people, but for a girl like me who likes a glass of wine, well, it was definitely, um, should have been a red flag. But he put it under the guise that his father was an alcoholic and basically he was breaking generational curses. So I wanted to respect that and I didn't have a problem with that. Just don't interrupt my wine drinking, okay? Anyway, now this relationship kind of started transcontinentally. I was traveling a lot at this time and I was able to pit stop in Paris on my way to other places. Like I'm going to India. So I'll spend a few days in Paris on my way there or I'm going to see a friend run a marathon in London. So you know what, come with me to London because it's a quick, easy trip, right? So, um, now Americans are always worried that someone's trying to get with them because they want to get to America, green card. Now, if you have somebody with a decent passport, like France, like Italy, like some of these type of countries, you don't really have to worry about that. But what you do, what you do need to think about is how they live their life there. Now, socialized programs in Europe can make people look way better than they actually are financially. All right. So what I did find out very, very quickly once we got married and he moved to the U.S. Um, was that he thought I was rich, guys. And I guess a girl who's traveling and, you know, oh, stop in Paris and I went to India does seem like a rich bitch. But I was not. I worked for my money and um, I just, you know, I like to travel. I like to do things. I like to go places. When he moved to the States, I quickly found out he wasn't trying to work anymore he um so so he met some people some french people um who offered him jobs he turned them down saying you know he wanted to focus on doing things on his own you know he wanted to be self-build himself in the u.s which i don't know doing what but anyway it was um <laughs> evident we were about to have a problem but I was trying to give him some space because there were two things that I, I wanted to consider. Now, I wanted to consider someone moving to another country and what that looks like and feels like because I didn't know. Now, I, I only have so much patience in me, but I wanted to try and give him a little space on that. Um, he did have money coming in. He had a flat in Paris as well as some other income that he had coming in. So it wasn't like he was dependent on me particularly for money, but he was living in my house. Now, the other red flag, how many have I said so far, um, was, y'all, he didn't want to have sex no more. So we knew we weren't going to have children or anything. So it was just like the two of us. What else are we going to do besides have fun? That was the thing. So I'm still kind of like, well, maybe he has some sort of dysfunction, right? Cause so <laughs> I'm like, okay, sure. Um, so long, long story short, what happened? I lost my job and I was kind of in a weird place because of other things that were happening in the background of my life besides him. So he suggested we move to France. He was like, you know what? It's so much easier to um, live in in France. And I was like, you know what? Yeah, let's do it. Paris is one of my, is like my favorite city in the world. It's probably 
what made me like him and this is my problem i transferred all of my emotion and love for france and paris particularly i think to this man now when we decided to get married we both knew we weren't like loves of <laughs> each other's lives right we were two people who were intercontinental and wanted to try something and getting married was really the only way that one of us could move to the other place we had to do something like that so i wasn't under any sort of mystery <laughs> mystic thing that i i got married because i was like met the man that i was going to spend the rest of my life with i knew that if it didn't work out it would be easy to get out of because we weren't going to have children we weren't going to mix property. We weren't going to do any of those things. This was really a trial to see what happens. And I have to tell you guys, I'm still all right with it because I still have a beautiful life. I don't know what happens to him, but <laughs> I have a beautiful life. So anyway, maybe a little bit, I married him for access to Paris. I'm not sure, but I guess that's possible. Um, so long story short, I lost my job. And he's like, let's move to Paris. But we went to Paris after spending about a year in Guatemala because his flat was still rented. I rented my place out. And so now we're in Guatemala and that turned to shit. So I, by the end of Guatemala, I really knew that I was not going to stay in this relationship, but I didn't want to go back to the US. And I was like, I'm going to give Paris a try. I'm going to see what happens. So I did, I went to Paris and i lived there with him and got y'all yeah, i had fun i really did and it wasn't about him it was about me and my experience there so it was great i absolutely still paris is still one of my one of my true loves you have to know how much i love my italian husband to have given it up now here in italy because i like italy but it is not my one true love so I think um, once I was there, I was fine. I knew I was going to leave this relationship. I was making a plan to do so. I wanted to stay in Paris though. I didn't really want to move outside of, of Paris, but it didn't work out that way because now I'm in Italy and I mean, I'm having a lovely time here with my partner and my children. So guys, um, that's kind of what happened with the French guy. He just kind of didn't, it didn't, it wasn't everything. And you know, I know people make marriage, the idea like of marriage is like this big deal. I had a really cute wedding. It wasn't expensive because that wasn't really the thing, but it was fun and it was a memory. So if the relationship had worked out, it would have still been cute. And though it didn't work out, I didn't have a big regret because I just had a party with my friends. So guys, subscribe to my channel. I hope this little quick story gives you some inspiration. You don't have to live your life the way everyone thinks you should for it to turn out all right. So guys, you want to see the sea behind me? Well, you got to get view. Let's see. What's the view? Yeah, there it is. There's the sea. That's the Mediterranean Sea behind me, you guys. Subscribe to my channel and uh, let's talk some more. If you guys like these videos, you gotta share, like, comment, let me know. Otherwise, I'll stop doing them. If you guys don't wanna hear these crazy stories from my life and shit I've done, that just, just to try it out. Um, that's it. Ciao, ciao for now.